How do you get the dynamic content from a filter array action? Are you writing an expression like this for each dynamic content you'd like to output? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quicker way to get the dynamic content from your filter array action, and it doesn't require writing an expression. What is the filter array action anyway? The filter array action is used to filter out an array of items. In this flow example, the apply to each action is looping through each item in this list and checking to see if the employee's birth date is in three days. I have a small list of only 15 items. If you have a list with many items, using the apply to each action and a condition action is inefficient. Think of it like an elevator. Would it make sense for an elevator to stop at every single floor just to check if someone needs to get on or off? Instead, people get into an elevator, press the button for their floor, and the elevator only stops at those floors. The filter array action works in the same way. It reduces the number of items in an array by filtering out the items that match your criteria. You can then use the apply to each action to loop through just the filtered items. Although it may look like the filter array action can only accept a single condition, it can accept more than one condition with the advanced mode. I won't be covering how to do that in this tutorial because I've already covered it in a different one. Click here to check it out. I've also linked it in the description box below. Whenever I use a filter array action in my flow, I always add a condition check to see if any items have been filtered out before continuing on with the flow. First, add a compose action to store the number of items that have been filtered. Remember to rename your actions to keep your flow organized. Insert an expression and use the length function. Insert the body dynamic content from the filter array action. Next, add a condition action. Insert the output from the compose action above into the first value field. Change the operator to is not equal to. Enter a zero into the second value field. Run a test. The condition action isn't very helpful when it comes to troubleshooting. It'll only display a true or false value. Because I have a compose action in my flow, I can verify the number of items returned. Now that I have a filtered array, I need to use an apply to each action to loop through these items. In most cases, the only dynamic content you can select from the filter array action is item and body. To output the dynamic content with an expression, you need to get the dynamic content key. I'm going to output the name of the employee in this compose action. Insert an expression. Enter the item function. Add a question mark, square brackets, and single quotes. Between the single quotes, enter the dynamic content key. The easiest way to get this is by looking at the output from the filter array action. The dynamic content key is the red text between the double quotes. In this case, the employee name is in the title column. Enter title between the single quotes. Run a test. There's nothing wrong with using an expression. However, it can be time consuming if you have a lot of dynamic content you'd like to output. There is an easier way to do this. Instead of inserting the body dynamic content into the apply to each action, insert the value dynamic content from the get items action. This way you have access to the dynamic content. Remove this expression and insert the title dynamic content from the get items action. Add another compose action for the birth date. Insert the dynamic content for the birth date column. Run a test.
the apply to each action is looping through all 15 items. This is because we're using the value dynamic content from the get items action. The items haven't been filtered yet. Now I'll remove the value dynamic content and insert the body dynamic content from the filter array action. When you hover over these dynamic content labels, you can see that the expression is referencing this apply to each action. Leave the dynamic content as is and run another test. The apply to each action is now looping through the filtered items from the array and the dynamic content is outputting as expected. Instead of having to write an expression to output each dynamic content I'd like to use in my flow, I can quickly select the dynamic content from the list. However, remember that after you've selected all of your dynamic content, always replace the value dynamic content in the apply to each action with the body dynamic content from the filter array action. To output additional dynamic content, you'll need to remember to swap out the body dynamic content in the apply to each action with the value dynamic content from the get items action. Otherwise, this will happen. The action you insert the dynamic content in will nest itself inside an apply to each action. To fix this, remove the dynamic content and pull the action outside of the apply to each action that was just created. Replace the body dynamic content with the value dynamic content. Insert the dynamic content from the get items action. Before you run another test, ensure that you replace the value dynamic content from the apply to each action with the body dynamic content from the filter array action. What other Power Automate actions are you struggling with? Let me know in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful and would like to see more videos like this, please consider giving this video a like. If you'd like to learn more about the filter array action, check out this tutorial where I'll show you three practical ways to use it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new Power Automate tutorials. Thanks for watching.